At the Cadian Ball and the Storm by Kate Chopin. I should let you know right away that Cadian is clearly a, a colloquial slurring. Uh, what it is abbreviating is Acadian, starting with an A. Uh, for those of you not familiar with this, that is where the word Cajun comes from. Uh, those people of, uh, of French heritage uh, in South Louisiana with their, uh, their cuisine and their accents. It's it, you, what most people immediately associate with Louisiana, that in New Orleans. Uh, they came from a northern, a north to south migration of, uh, of French Canadians. And they were called the Acadians. But of course, a country slurring of that becomes uh, becomes Cadian, and then of course whenever you slur that further, it becomes Cajun. Like how you hear uh, the uh, the rural slurring of Indian um, stereotypically in westerns as Indian. Indian goes to Indian. Same things. Acadian to Cadian to Cajun. And these stories work to, together. This is the first one, and the storm serves as the sequel to At the Cadian Ball. Now, Kate Chopin, she had an Irish immigrant father and a French Catholic mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. She was heavily influenced by French realists like Zola and uh, Emile Zola and uh, Guy de Maupassant. She began writing seriously in her late 30s to make money as a single mother when she was suddenly widowed. But she spent time with her husband in his native New Orleans, uh, hence how she became so familiar with the people and culture of South Louisiana. She's considered a local color writer, mainly Creoles and Cajuns, showing antebellum nostalgia, that is a kind of a wistful yearning for the, I guess, the positive aspects of uh, pre-Civil War culture as a reaction to the Civil War. She provides a very modern perspective on sexuality, especially female sexuality, that is, female sexuality constrained by social mores. Uh, this is a running theme throughout all of her literature, uh, probably most famously through her long short story or uh, short novel, her novella called The Awakening. And she was, uh, she courted quite the bit of controversy because her attitude in dealing with female sexuality in her writing was unapologetic, honest, and without judgment. In At the Cadian Ball, there is a veiled implied eroticism, but in its sequel, The Storm, oh, it's, it's less veiled, all right. I'll, I'll let you see. In The Storm, she, it was so controversial even from our modern viewpoint that even the daring Chopin didn't have the nerve to publish it. It was written in 1898, but it was not discovered by her estate and published until 1969, long after her death in the, well, in the first decade of the 20th century. Because of her reputation, she was snubbed by friends and clubs, especially because of the uh, controversy and scandal that her work, The Awakening, created. Now some considerations for both stories. The erotic tension and the candor, that is the honesty with which it is dealt. A morality. Not to be confused with immorality. It's not that it's being uh, bad. It's that it's not applying morality at all. And setting. Setting is very important, not only in terms of place and climate, but locale. Remember, we are in South Louisiana in both stories. Consider both of those, but especially because it takes on a much more uh, complicated set of dimen dimensions in the storm. 
in terms of what setting can do in a story. And there's an added consideration for the first story at the Cadian Ball, uh, kind of lingering guiltily in the background, and that is race. Good luck on your discussion responses.